hello guys welcome to yet another edition on my youtube channel my name remains richard n and today we'd like to take a look at uh, another powerful uh, lead generation tool called apollo well this is just another opportunity for us to learn something new because over the past uh, couple of days, we've been learning about uh, CRM tools, we're learning about project management, task management tools. Now I want to talk about another telemarketing tool, which we will refer to as what, as Apollo. And Apollo is um, a very powerful cloud-based lead, lead management, lead generation tool that also allows you to do what? To nurture your leads, uh, maybe maybe like uh, layers or exchange with your with your lead ensure that they are healthy and then probably grow from nurturing into creating meetings conversations and then finally closing the deal which is the ultimate goal of every every lead generation and campaign uh, blasting so but before we go into this proper i'd like to encourage you to, to subscribe to my youtube channel fast dd and ensure that you you hit on the notification bell so that whenever i make new videos you'll be among the first to know so with that let us do some little exploration about apollo.io so that you can understand what you're up against um remember that we have several other videos on the channel about the other um softwares we have softwares we have talked about things like um crm tools like fresh desk we've talked about it We've talked about uh, intercom. We've talked about uh, task and project management tools like Monday.com, and we have, you know, we still have a, a lot more to talk about here on this channel. So I encourage you to pay more than usual attention so that you can always follow. So this is Apollo.io, and this is just what what you know what the environment looks like. We, you know, like I've always told people, Apollo dashboard is divided into four different segments which are the prospect and enrich we have the engage we have the win and close we have the tools and workflows and within these sections there are several features that are going to help you generate that powerful lead that you're going to use to work to market your products to blast your campaigns probably to maybe to meet new potential new customers and then have sales for your business services or products. So this is one tool you really want to pay attention and follow up as it is very, very interesting to use. So this is your home page. Uh, and this one gives you an overview of all you've been doing for the last time that you've been here. Here you see the analysis of, you know, of the emails you've delivered, of calls you've dialed. And here it tells you the percentage of emails that were opened, percentage of emails that were responded to, percentage of emails that you know that, that your people were interested to. Then it tells you the calls that was connected, the positive and what, the average duration for the world, for the different calls you've made. And then below here you have the you know the recent replies, which you know categorizes everything into people that are willing to meet you. Maybe as soon as you send out your your campaigns to the to the leads you generated maybe who among the leads generated is willing to meet who is able to follow up who is being referred to other people and then who is not at the office at the moment and all of that so we also have the recommended prospects which are other leads that person automatically recommends to you and this is one thing that i really find so interesting about um apollo.io and then we also have this tool this feature that is called message optimization which allows you to what optimize the message in such a way that it will appeal to the what to the receiver and then we have task and what alerts and that is all about what the home or the dashboard then we have the prospect and enrich uh, section which is where the main magic happens now when you are in apollo dot you know dot io and you want to to look for people that you want to maybe reach out to with your products or campaigns. This is, now this is where you're going to start the process. This is where you look for them. You build a list. Maybe you maybe you can enter their name or you can search through their persona. You can use their name to look for them. You can use their job titles. Maybe you want to meet or maybe maybe maybe, maybe your campaign or your, or your product is targeting all 
managers, all HROs, or all CEOs, and all of that. And you can also target with location. You want to reach people in London. You want to reach people in Dubai. You want to reach people in maybe Alcosays. You want to reach people at maybe um, Bahrain or whatever. This is where you set all of that. And you also want to talk about employees. And then if you want to search for people using the uh, maybe the keywords and industry, this is where you do that and all of that. And you can also do what? Reach out to companies. You can also find companies using what? Apollo. Dot io and when you find any of these lists what do you do next you save it as a what as a list as you can see i for myself i have created some you know some nice lists in the past which i used to in the, to also send out some uh, uh some of my campaigns to reach other people and then you can also use this to what to you know to schedule your messages in your what in your sequences so that is all about what search now we have data enrichment and this tool helps you to ensure that your list that you've curated from search is what is healthy. Now, what does it mean for a list to be healthy? Me, I like to describe it, uh, you know, as being the fact that, okay, I have this list now, but how accurate are the details of this list? If I have uh, a Mr. Jason on my list, is the email address I have of him, is it still valid? Is it still on that email address or has he used it? Do I have the recent and most accurate information about this lead. This is where you ensure all of that. And then we have the engage. Now, the difference between this engage and prospect and enrich in Ablo.io is that at prospects, you are looking for what potential what leads. Now, at this engage, you've probably found them and you have ensured that they are healthy list. And now it is not time to do what it's not time to send out your campaigns to them. And how do you do that? You can do it in a way that the first time or for maybe like maybe like in the first 30 minutes of you locating or maybe uh, getting this list of leads, you can, you know, you can use the sequencing to ensure that there is a message that, will, that goes out to these guys, probably your campaign messages or your campaign emails. Now you have the list from search. Now you throw the list into your world, into, into the sequence so that your, you, you know, your first message can be sent to them. That is the essence of the words of the sequence. And then the sequence is such a way that it will keep reaching out to these guys until they either respond or maybe you feel like, oh, maybe these guys are not really interested. And then you stop uh, reaching out to them. And that is what. And then you, you now you have emails. These emails is um, probably, yeah, you can have maybe your, your template emails that you use to reach out to your customer. This could be your campaign uh, format. Maybe how your campaigns, maybe your your like email campaigns looks like, and then you just have to modify a little bit, and then you're going to blast it to your what to your leads. But then whatever you've done before, you're going to see it here. It's currently saying there is no record of what there's no record found, which means that this account hasn't sent any mails, or maybe nobody has responded to our mails in the past. Because from here now you can see that we have total total is zero. We have scheduled is zero. We have delivered is zero. We have opened. Of course, this is for you if you are in uh, in, in the premium or, or for the paid plan, but because it's just for training and, you know, we are just on the free or trial plan. So there's I actually a little that we can do about, you know, just with these two. So we also have the calls. Don't forget that this is still engaged and we are trying to engage our customer to the point where they can actually, be, I mean, we are trying to engage our leads to the point where they can become actual customers or users or subscribers and so we can either use mails or we can use calls and then you see the calls are not really uh, available if you're on the free plan so you have to do what you have to ensure that you you choose a suitable plan for your kind of business and then that is when you can see the full functionalities the full features in action on upload.io now let us assume that you've engaged with the customer and now they have responded to your mails or maybe they are okay with calls. Then we now advance towards to win and close. Win and close brings you and your and that leads closer towards to having a meeting conversation and then finally the deal. So this win and close is when a customer has actually responded to your mails and has actually done what agreed to awards to a meeting. Probably the meeting is all about telling him more about the product, telling him maybe or how things and things to do maybe the features of the product and all of that. And then probably 
they are now saying, okay, I'm interested in this product. I'd like to know more. Now, at this point, what do you connect? You see, you have connect your calendar. This is where you are. Maybe where you can connect your maybe your calendar to maybe big time, maybe your Calendly, maybe your Google Calendar, whatever. And then when you connect this here, you can be able to what to maybe connect uh, and set an appointment with your what with the lead that you know that you have trying to follow up to. So after this now after these meetings, we have the conversation. So just you know just as you have not showed this list from the you know from the, from the inception going through sequencing emailing and calling now you've scheduled a meeting and then this conversations is where the meeting actually happens properly and as you can see the most uh the, the most obvious tools here are meeting tools like your we have zoom we have my uh, we have google uh, meets and then we have microsoft teams these are the basic tools that you know you can actually uh, use to engage with the world with the customer and then have a conversation about the products the services or maybe the solutions that you are offering and then this is where the customer can tell you okay i do not like this feature i want this feature i don't like this price i want it to be like this and then you can discuss and after what what the, what happens if this customer is still very much interested then the customer then grows into the world into you know a paying customer that is where you you what you draft a deal for your customer because now he's not willing to pay and on this deal this is where we are going to create you can you know you start by creating a new deal where you specify the name of the deal so that the customer can remember you say okay what account are you going to use for this and then you talk about the pipeline and then what is the deal stage this one will come up whenever you select the pipeline and then you put in the amount of the deal and then you save it on your what on your system and then you can also share the link with the customer so that maybe just in case you are willing to pay maybe maybe using any of their this thing and then you can do that and then we have the tools and workflow and the tools and workflow is where you talk about the task management we also have the feature that, allow, that allows you to maybe connect with maybe your teammates and all that then we have the analytics the analytics of as, you know as usual is supposed to help you see the performance over time for maybe performance of your team maybe how much leads have been generated how much leads have been delivered some messages how much leads are willing to meet and all of that is where you see it on what uh, analytics and then if you're managing a team you should be able to see those that are performing excellently on your team and then this is how it is done but then apart from this also we also have the settings tab the settings tab is where you control everything that happens in what in your Apollo account, this is where you can manage uh, your, your configurations, your, your admin settings, like your users. You have your profile to set up. You can set up your profile, like your name, account info, emails, and all of that. Then configuration stuff like contacts, accounts, deals, conversations, personal sequence, and all of that is also set up here. And then we have the system activities, which also you know which talks about things like data request history. Uh, credit usage and all of that and then we have the premium features below that so this is everything you might want to know about about the overview on apollo.com and in, a, in another video we are going to go into more details talking about the other things that you might want to do we are going to perform a uh, search we are going to be able to save this so that you can use this to reach your customers and so I will encourage you to keep a date with us, um, keep watching Fast Giddy, and then sure you subscribe to our notification, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and then hit on notification so that when we drop a next video, you'll be the first to know. So thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.